Hey all, welcome to the channel. This is D Square, and today I'm gonna show you how to make a frequency analysis in SolidWorks and what is the use of a frequency analysis. So, I'm starting the tutorial. Here uh, I have a model uh, shaft and uh, pillow bearing. So today we will make a one frequency simulation. So for that we are new simulation or new study and click here uh, frequency. Okay. Now we just need to apply material. So right click and apply material to all. Here uh, I am using this material AISI1020 apply and close. Now material is applied. Now need the uh, fixture, fixed geometry and uh, just fix the bottom face. Okay. Now right click here and hide okay fine now we just need to go to here study property and here we have the option number of frequency so if you want to change you can change it so right now make as a five so this will make a five segment of my main model okay now okay and right click here and create mesh and okay okay now fine just run the study Okay, we have the result. We have here a five result. What is the frequency analysis gives the it gives the result in hertz. Here you can see the value in hertz and also double click here and uh, get here a floating number in definition you can see the value of a first mode that is uh, this my value and uh, here you can see also the amplitude in x y and z axis and this is my resultant amplitude click ok so here you can see okay now second right click in animate here you can see the animation so question is uh, what this value shows so here we just need to convert uh, this hertz into rpm so just uh, let's use tip uh, this is my maximum hertz here in the fifth mode and uh, convert into rpm so right here 4589.2 and for uh, conversion into rpm so i need to multiply by 60 so this is my rpm so this is my rpm so when i rotate the shaft into this rpm 275352 so this is the my behavior of the shaft so when i rotate shaft into this rpm so in the reality it uh, showing in the screen the behavior this is so this is the behavior of the shaft when i rotate in this rpm so this is my first segment only this part maximum okay so let's find uh, one more time
so this is my minimum frequency so three three seven zero point one and multiply by sixty okay so this is my minimum rpm so when i rotate this up into two zero two two zero six rpm so the behavior of this uh, shaft uh, is showing here this is the behavior of the shaft when i rotate this shaft in the rpm okay so this is my second segment here Okay, so this is the how we can use a frequency simulation in SOLIDWORKS. So thank you for watching. Thank you all.